some stuff to yeah i got i got some some nice help from some helpful residents in helping me understand how to put it together properly um, it was it was very very good um let's let's go ahead and get started here uh i want to go through we got we got a few things to talk about um so the viewer pipeline we have the importer release candidate um our current belief is that that will probably be promoted next week uh, unless something drastic happens so like uh, really uh well i i'm i hesitate to make any predictions about what the something drastic might be, might be, because you never know. Whirly's already had a few goes at it. I'm Has yeah, she she's crossed. Yeah, she's she's beaten up on this one already. You mean it's it's survived really so far? Really? Well, it, it <laughs> la 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 la. <laughs> we're not making any we're not making any claims that might be you know tempt anybody to take extraordinary measures. Uh, there are a bunch of project viewers that will all be competing for QA time. As usual, we, we don't do one thing at a time. We do several things all at once, and they all kind of pile up on QA for a little while. What order they'll come out in um, is still to be determined, but uh, basically everything else that's on that list is, is in the queue and will be coming out um, as a release candidate uh, pretty quickly. That is, uh, there will be another batch of maintenance fixes, the notifications viewer, the graph, quick graphics uh, viewer, and the HTTP viewer. Um, and if we can get them all out next week, we will. If not, they'll come out in some order um, over the next week or two. Uh, but they're basically all queuing up for uh, pre-release candidate QA now. So, uh, this, you know, never rains, but it pours. Um, so, and of course, we won't make any predictions about, about what order they'll be promoted in because we can't. Um, but uh, my expectation is that HTTP will get, um, you know, a... a a long, careful test, at least a couple of these, probably the graphics viewer and the HTTP viewer will initially get very, very small test cohorts. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, so, you know, we'll, we'll be doing, we'll be doing cautious rollouts on those just in general. Um, we hope to get an updated RIF viewer out um, and uh, we hope to get a project. I didn't put it on the list here on the agenda page, but we also hope to get an updated project viewer for the CEF out. Um, that one will probably remain a project viewer for a little while um, in hopes, in the, in the fond hope that people who do in-world media-based things will actually pick it up and do a bunch of testing with it and tell us whether or not uh, we're somehow disrupting their content. So, um, but, you know, so that we can, so that we can deal with that, you know, or help with it in one way or another, um, before we bring that to the main line. Uh, but, uh, all of those things are going to be coming out. So it's going to be, we're going to be going into a, a little bit of a busy season here. Uh, that's all good. Um, so any questions about the, about the upcoming viewer pipeline specifically? I, I think you should, you guys should take like, um, like a one month vacation in between each project. <laughs> <laughs> and no, really, you guys are overworked. <laughs> I'm all for it. <laughs> uh, I, I'll tell my boss you guys said so. <laughs> yeah, that should totally do it. Yeah, I, I'm, I have a feeling Ebay wouldn't wouldn't consider that to be you know meeting our mandate. Uh, mm. Damn it, uh, Oz! <laughs> did you mention project notice? And I just blinked. I did. I did. Okay, sorry. It's it's in there. 
Um, so yeah, that one's that one's gone around the around the revision cycle again, and it's coming back up. Um, what is this being displayed here on chat? Standard imposters are invisible until rendered once as non imposter. I I don't think that's true on the latest build. Uh, this is. 305-380, let me see, what am I running? Because I've got, I know I've got a newer one. Oh no, I'm, that's what I'm running. Standard imposters are invisible until rendered once as a non-imposter. Jelly baby imposters are always invisible unless you toggle the maximum. Um, okay, I, I, I will, why is that in storm? Um, all right, well, we'll need to try to get a, a repro on that with, so, um, but thank you. Uh, well, I'm going to probably move that issue to bug, but, um, no, that's okay. I can, I can move that one, really. Uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll do that after we're done. Um, so, uh, so that's it for the viewer pipeline. Anything else on the viewer pipeline? Cause the, the next bit is, um, heads up on merging. Um, we got. Uh, we talked last time a little bit about inventory changes. There is a big batch of inventory code changes coming, but they're actually going to be behind the HTTP viewer, um, as you Merrill. Uh, so uh, I posted. We did a little internal education session for viewer devs inside the company, uh, and I posted the YouTube video of that uh, on how we have restructured the HTTP code to use coroutines um, as the base paradigm for that. Um, it's really good. It's very cool. Um, this is not going to be a trivial merge for anybody because we had to touch a ton of code all over the place. Um, and uh, to the extent that you've been doing different things in some of that code, you're obviously going to have a, a significant merge to do. It is probably worthwhile to watch that video before you do that, before you attempt that merge. So uh, a good thing, um, if anybody has already watched that and has questions about it, we have Nat and Ryder here today to in our Attack case, them. it will be on Serial most likely doing that merge. Uh, she's not here, but if she has questions, she'll probably throw an email out. Um, should that email go to just Oz, and then you'll forward it to yeah, the powers just, to be? Or? Just send it to me, and I'll I'll spread it around as needed, depending on who's okay. the more appropriate person. Um, and, you know, putting it on the open source dev list wouldn't hurt either, but... Um, Probably a good idea to copy me so that it ends up in my main inbox. Okay. Um, so uh, uh, I'm I'm really enthusiastic about that set of changes. I, I um, fully appreciate that it's liable to be kind of um, you know one of those annoying uh, sets of things to merge, but. Uh, it's it's worthwhile. It's it's a, a really good a really good set of changes, and I think it's going to be going to be nice. We had, we already got one very complimentary thread on the uh, on the viewer forum about it. Um, it's pretty funny. Somebody complaining they could no longer play guessing games about uh, what textures were going to res because they res too fast. Uh, uh, 
So let's see. Um, next item. So, and then, then there will, they, uh, because inventory code and HTTP code overlap a lot, um, when Aura started on the latest round of inventory code changes, which is again a significant merge, um, they're built on top of the HTTP code. So that, that viewer and that set of changes will appear sometime after the HTTP code has been promoted or has at least been in RC for a little while. Uh, but it will certainly be promoted to viewer release after HTTP because it, it incorporates it. Um, so I think that's all the new news I have. Everything else that's on the agenda page is old news. So the floor is open. Silly question from me. Uh, how much is these, are these code changes going to break old viewers? How much are the, these, those code changes? The, the ones I've been talking, the, the HTTP changes won't do anything to old viewers because they're just in the viewer and talking to the simulator. But you're going to be, the simulator. you're going to be shutting off UDP, aren't you? At some point, yes. Okay, um, so that's still not like dated. Yet. We have, we have not we have not got a, a a date for that yet, but we're we're moving in that direction. Okay. Um, so uh, and similarly, the the inventory code changes. Uh, w you know, we are removing use of old messages in 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 our viewer code base. Um, we will be making the corresponding simulator side changes, server side changes um, later um, in ways that will certainly break old viewers. Well, that was my next question was basically um, right. those, those old messages, how long will they be supported on the server side? Um, well, we're, we're not going to be, we're not going to be doing any of that this year, um, but this okay, year only has another quarter left in it. Uh, but yeah. um, but they may get onto the agenda fairly early next year for some of those changes. <laughs> yeah, I didn't <laughs> I did notice that. <laughs> uh, I, I don't. It's not that I think of it as, as it's good to break old viewers. It's that it's good to make the it's server to get side code on better stuff. and yeah. more solid. <laughs> Um, well, uh, I, I'm with you 100% there. It's just, uh, I'm just, uh, my, my question was designed to figure out how soon I'm going to have to uh, get our support team stocking up on uh, drugs and alcohol for all the bar that's Well, and, and start start recruiting new support people for the, the ones <laughs> that we're going to lose. <laughs> uh, I think a yeah. lot of people will lose on power PCs. Yeah, yeah, this, this is true. <laughs> anyway, uh, you know, next year that's that's good enough for us. That works. That gives us time. Right, but uh, you know, I mean, it, I I can't I can't at this point confidently predict what it will be competing with. Uh, you know, for development priorities uh, after the new year, but. It will be high on my personal list, and I get to, you know, I get to sort of inject a few things into the process here and there. So, um, so I'll try to, I'll try to be doing that. Um, we, you know, I, I want to emphasize that the reason we're making these, especially the inventory system changes, is that we're making inventory more reliable, um, and it's the, the changes are not insignificant. We are definitely we are we have definitely we've invested a lot of effort in it. We've f definitely found some bugs that certainly could cause inventory to be uh, um, either lost or misplaced. Um, you know that is to uh, to be moved to somewhere you didn't expect to find it, and therefore you can't. Um, or have things that happen. You know in uh, uh, when you attempt to res no copy objects, there were there were some some gaps there that can cause things to be closed. Uh, there's a there's a simulator rollout that's that's closing another one of those. Um, 
So uh, that's that's uh, you know this is a this has been a point of emphasis for us, uh, and there is a there, there are some very real limits on how how well you can fix those kinds of problems and preserve 100% backwards compatibility with all clients. Um, and so given a choice between preserving 100% compatibility with unmaintained software and uh, fixing various serious bugs that have, you know, real impacts on users, well, it's a pretty easy choice, right? So, yeah. Um, um, right. Lots of, if, lots of if, speculative fun features for the future. Speculative, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, will, I, you, I carefully do not comment on any of the speculation <laughs> going on in the text channel there. If you had to make a guess, uh, between now and October 12th, um, what do you think you will have released that's mergeable, releasable by October, us? October. I'm, I'm, so that's like uh, I'm, one. Two, I'm looking at my calendar so that I so that I know what that means. So I would say very high probability that we will release the importer viewer in that time. Um. And then there's just two weeks after that, so probably only one other viewer from the other set, from the set I was just going through. Uh, it, I would not expect to have released the HTTP viewer in that time. That would be too short of a test period for that. Certainly not the CEF viewer. That's still only going to be a project viewer at that point. Um, uh Probably not graphics quick preferences. Um, so either the next maintenance viewer uh, collection of bug fixes or notifications uh, is a real possibility. Um, okay, that, that gives me an idea of, of where we so are. Pro one, most likely, you know, even odds that it's one or the other of those, uh, very poor odds that it's anything else. Um, you know, well, chances the, are the probably reason... the next firestorm will will probably then only carry the mesh importer. Uh, yeah, getting the mesh importer possibly, changes would be good. Yeah. There are a lot of there are a lot of good fixes in there. Um, there, there are some significant robustness fixes of various kinds in there that, that it would be really good to be able to have out in users' hands. Um, and you actually can import cooler meshes that way. Um, you know, but, uh, so, but, but then, then one of the others is a pretty good possibility, but by no means a certainty. I mean, the reason we have, the whole release channel mechanism, the release candidate mechanism, is that is that until we've put uh, a viewer in the hands of five thousand users, we we don't really uh, form strong opinions about whether or not it's ready to go. Yeah, that's the way to be. Yeah, it's just because um, we're, we're. I'm hoping that we'll be in feature freeze by the 18th. Um, okay. So uh, I'm hoping that we'll be able to have that in there before we. Going to um, freeze. Yeah, well, you uh, certainly we, should. You we, certainly we should have the importer much. viewer by then. I mean, I've I've started doing the importer viewer merge into uh, Quick Graphics. I haven't pushed that build out yet anywhere, but um, but I, I'm I'm building it locally on my on my own system. Have built it locally. It finished. Um, so uh, I, you know, I wouldn't be doing that if I didn't think the importer was going to promote it next week. Although there's that new bug that um, <laughs> is not going to block release. <laughs> you mean the the one that Worley was just talking about? Yeah. I, yeah, but that's I not going to block the importer. That's only. It. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Um, yeah, that's that's uh, but that's not going to block importer. 
So importer will go will go out. It's an importer bug. Uh oh no, I thought you were talking about the, the storm no, bug. No, that one was the there was a storm bug, but before that Rurley also posted an importer bug. Oh. Just as you said that she hadn't broken it. She said, she "Here's the it. bug." Oh, I see. Yeah, bug, bug one hundred three two six. Latest materials viewer buggy on uploading and retaining material group order. Hmm. You know, it occurred to me. Uh, I had an epiphany moment. Um, if we want to eliminate all the bugs in Second Life, there's a really easy solution. Like a Send really to go on vacation. You, you just banner <laughs> banner from Second Life, and there's no more bugs. I'm telling you, perfect fix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or we could just shut everything down. That that would do it too. Uh, I don't think either of those solutions is acceptable. By the way, just in no, case anybody was sadly. not clear. Uh, uh oh, look out, company! You, you, you just said <laughs> the wrong thing. <laughs> um, right. And also, um, I'm a little disappointed that, uh, so there's Simon Linden, Alexa Linden, um, Zayola, and I think Zayola's in here somewhere. Good for her. Um, but there's no Grumpity or Ryder or Oz Linden uh, or Izzy uh, or Nix um, at the charity auction this weekend. Shame, shame, shame. Uh, I'm afraid that my weekend is already spoken for. <laughs> uh. Yeah, bloody Simon Linden, he's he's cheating. Yeah, there have been accusations of cheating flying around um, <laughs> the lab today and this image getting reposted. Nix, you haven't heard of oh, Mad P is doing um, a celebrity charity auction for um, Live and Learn Kenya. You should totally do it, Nix. I think it's too late now. I think, well, actually, they might find room, maybe. I don't know. Ah. As always next year. So, are we actually finishing this up already? Is that what's happening right now? Uh, I, I haven't heard anything to the contrary. How are we doing? Anybody got any other topics they want to talk about? We we could, you know, start the weekend early. It works for me. I don't even have my, my staff. Yeah, with me here. No kidding. Yeah, the support team well, has, hasn't even complained about uh, uh, any super new bugs. So, I think ever since we got hover height, <laughs> Jess just ran out of things to say. Yeah, and, I'm I'm out of things to advocate for and and bitch about. <laughs> uh, but but uh, you know, from the sound of things, I'm I'm going to have some new stuff to to bitch and complain about. So, I do think though that you guys should take. A good 30-day holiday after each viewer release. Uh, well. <clears throat> that's, that's not a, that's not the mandate. <clears throat> I, I thought you moved up to guinea pigs from, from hamsters. Was that, was that just a rumor? Oh, that was just PR. Okay. We just moved the camera in closer to them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
we be done. Hmm. Wonderful. I have to go pick up my car from the dealership. Mm -hmm. It's finally fixed. And I get to return. You wouldn't believe it. So they gave me as a rental. A, have you seen these cars? It's a um, Kia Soul. It is. And it's yellow. Oh, my God. It is the most horrendously ugly thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm like ducking that's, behind the dashboard. I don't want anyone to see me in it. That's a that's an anti theft measure. Yeah, that's for I, sure. <laughs> I had a rental car at one point. I, I, it, yeah, bright yellow. People thought I was a taxi cab. <laughs> <laughs> I I uh, I had uh, the most irritating car repair failure in many many years this weekend. I stopped at my mailbox and rolled the window down and. Got my mail and the window wouldn't go back up. Oh no! <laughs> Six hundred and eighty-five dollars they wanted. Oh my god! Fix. That's just for the part. I ended up getting one for a junkyard from a junkyard for about half of that. But even Jeez, that is outrageous. Yeah, it's crazy. It's stupid expensive. If it wasn't the oh, driver's windows. window, I would have told him just put it up and lock it. You know? Just <laughs> yeah, duct tape. <laughs> That works. <laughs> but, uh, you know, with the driver's door, that doesn't really work. You, you don't want to. Well, in my case, I got lucky. It's just, um, it's actually warranty. They're, they're repainting my hood. Well, actually, I'm getting a new hood, and they're painting it. TMI, Jess, we didn't know that you got lucky. <laughs> no, that doesn't happen anymore. <laughs> All right, folks. Some things to do, if yours to build. Have a good weekend. I'm gonna go f see what's up with that bug whirly file. <laughs> Paige, yep. I was totally Thanks, gonna everybody. get. I was totally thinking about buying the Passat, the diesel Passat, well, on a lease, <laughs> um, like quite literally until just the news came out, and now I'm like, maybe not. Actually, I couldn't get it now anyway because everything's on like recall, so they don't even sell them. I bet. It's probably for the best. Yeah, but I really like because I got a, a Volkswagen Jetta and I really like it. It's so I, I've been looking at the Passat or um, that or going to that Subaru Crosstrek, which is a really nice looking car. Diesel isn't worth it, Jess. Well, I don't know. Thirty-five miles per gallon says otherwise. Uh, well, yeah, it was only getting thirty-five miles per gallon because it wasn't doing the. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, it only gets it only gets thirty five miles per gallon on the tester on, on the computer. <laughs> no, it gets the mileage. It just doesn't get the emissions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it was working properly, you wouldn't be getting the thirty five miles per gallon. Well, I'm only getting with my Jetta right now. I'm getting twenty to thirty, depending if I'm highway or city, uh, and that's not very good. Still better than you'd be getting with the diesel if it was uh, set up properly. Yeah. Right. Later. Bye. Okay, yeah, I'm gone too. See you guys later. Have a good weekend. Ed, um, I'll talk to you. I'll be back uh, after I get my car. Okay, well, I've got a uh, 3 p.m. SL class, so... Okay, well, I've got to return... i got to pick up the car, and then i got to return the, the yellow submarine... Yeah, a okay, crap so thing, whatever it is. After my class tomorrow, Sunday, whatever works for you, um, okay. we'll get together and uh, we're going to go over a few more things on the region, I think. Uh, okay, I'll talk to you later. <laughs>